Hi everybody, this is a really, really quick video. So next week is the Great Escape Music Festival, one of my personal favourite music festivals in the whole world. It's happening next week between the 17th to the 19th of May, Thursday to Saturday. This is going to be my ninth year of actually going to the Great Escape. So just in case you don't know, the Great Escape is a music festival that's actually inside a city. You get a wristband and you jump from venue to venue. And the great thing about this festival is that it's full of random, random bands. Like, seriously. It started as a festival where it's promoting many new bands and then it just got more towards the mainstream. But that's not a bad thing. There's so many bands. I think there's over 300 bands, over 30 to 40 venues. You should definitely, definitely go. And each set is roughly about 30 minutes. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I have been going back every year. The main thing is that I always find it a real random uh, event. Uh, it's a city festival, so you get to explore all of Brighton. If you've never been to Brighton before, or you've only been to Brighton once or twice, by exploring the city through this music festival, it's a completely different experience. This festival seems to actually create a new vibe in the whole place, and I absolutely love it. Now, I was going to give you a whole bunch of tips for the Great Escape, but actually, thinking about, about it and re-watching my previous video right here, all the tips actually pretty much still applies to this year. So you should definitely check out that video. Um, it gives you a sense of what's it like, some amazing tips that's really, really handy to make your great escape experience even better. So a quick thing about what's actually happening this year specifically. So there is a whole bunch of showcases. There's a Dutch, Russian and Canadian showcase. I really do recommend the showcases because they're generally the best bands or the bands that kind of stand out from that part of the world. I've always enjoyed it. In the past, there's been the Scandinavian, the Irish, uh, the German, and pretty much, you know, different country showcases. But this year, those three seem to be standing out. There's always a chaotic crowd from that country. Always lovely uh, to mingle with that crowd and try and figure out, figure out if there's any specific bands from that country that you should also check out. So some of the stages are sponsored by certain companies. What I love about the sponsor stages is that sometimes they're free swag and special competitions. So in this year, Feinheiser, uh, YouTube, and also Evan Williams Bourbon Bar, and also Jimmy's Bar. So you're going to get some free booze for your efforts of possibly heading over there and checking out some good music whilst having a quick drink. And for Sennheiser, uh, I believe there's the other giving away free headphones and there's a competition uh, floating around, so definitely worth checking out. And then on the YouTube stage, um, I don't think we're, they're probably not giving away free stuff, but I thought I'd throw that in there, being the fact that I'm on YouTube and, you know, supporting the platform. Yay! And of course, I definitely do recommend checking out my Spotify playlist. The link's in the description. It's pretty much me going through the whole of the playlist and picking out the ones that stand out for me. If you do have any good band recommendations, you should definitely add it to the comments. Let me know, okay? <laughs> Just in case I didn't make last year's tips videos not quite clear enough, um, I had a couple of people mention about the whole alternative Great Escape. Literally, it is free. The alternate escape is a great way to enjoy the Great Escape experience without paying for a ticket. There isn't as many venues which is part of the alternative escape, and I believe that not all of the venues are going from Thursday to Saturday. It's worth definitely, I keep saying, get a ticket. Uh, if you haven't got a ticket yet, there's still tickets available, plus also, there's usually loads of spare tickets floating around. Check on Twitter, check on Facebook. Um, heck, even drop me a quick message. Uh, I believe a couple of my friends may be dropping out. I don't know yet. Uh, my Twitter handle's this way up and Instagram this way up world. So another quick thing about the social medias, check out the hashtag TGE18. That's the main hashtag to do, use this year. And there's gonna be lots of uh, comments, vibes, discussions going back and forth on secret gigs. Um, random appearances on the street and you know just 
you know, good recommendations on where to go next if you're not too sure what, what to check out. The queues, I think, seems to be getting uh, longer and longer every year. So if you want to choose one day that you can go, try head there for the Thursday. It's the least busiest. Friday and Saturday is absolutely mental. Anyway, that's it. Just a small little video about Grey Escape uh, 2018. I hope to see you guys there. If you see me floating around, say hi. I'm really friendly. Uh, like I said, give me some recommendations. Add it to the comments. Tweet to me on This Way Up Twitter, This Way Up World, on Instagram. And yeah, if you like this video, you found it handy, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because I might give create another short video of my top 10 or top 20 picks if I have time between now and going to the Grey Escape. And I'll see you hopefully at the Grey Escape.